Hi. It's about time I do a VHS collection considering all the ones that I have. Um, I had just gotten one in the mail today. Uh, I'm not going to tell until we review it. It's not the rarest, but it is rare. So I figured that I don't have any ones that I'm planning to get. Now is a good time to do it since I've just, I was like, I'm going to do a VHS collection. Then the next day I buy a VHS and postpone it for a while. Whoops. So we will obviously go from, oh dear. We will obviously go from Language Nursery to On The Go slash The Sampler slash The Random Shit. So let me think about how to do this. Do I move the camera? No, I don't. We don't. We will not move the camera. However, what we will do is take it off the tripod. All right. First, the Jamboree, which I just reviewed. Front, side, back, and let me, yep. Okay, it was $12.95. Uh, it was presented by uh, Fast Forward Marketing. Okay. Here's the tape. I feel like there's a version of this that's colored, although I could be wrong. Maybe it was just a booklet. Uh, I tested it, and yes, shockingly, it's Jimbery. I know, very surprising. So there's that. Let's put it back. Uh, I will tell. I will go into detail about the VHSs. This one was from Facebook Marketplace for five dollars. And a lot. You know what? I'll, George also got his on Facebook Marketplace for five dollars and a lot. It's not an amazing condition like these. These things are coming off, but. Whatever. It's from 1997. Alright, we got LN98. Uh, Parenting Magazine for Dramatic Award Video. Then, here's the, uh, the title or cap caption or whatever. And then, side. Then the back does mention Baby Vok. VHS Stereo. Uh, 1998 by Julie Clark. Um, I don't think it says anything about the Baby Einstein Company. Does co copyright the Baby Einstein theme. Here it is, uh, 1998, Julie Agner Clark, babyeinstein.com. Okay, uh, next we have uh, LN2000, which is just LN2000. Side over here. It's LN2000, so it's not very interesting. Oh, yeah, I forgot the inside exists. It's the inside. I'll only show it once for each video. Program notes. Get, get. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. Hold on. Get out. <sighs> okay, I got it out. And it's all for fucking LN2000. Copyright 1998, which makes perfect sense. 8, 19, 2000. Um, and then, next up we have, once I put this back, we also have LN2000. See, look, I have two of them. Very interesting. You notice something? This one's way brighter. You wanna know why? Yeah, it's Atlantis Atlantis. My only Atlantis Atlantis tape that was on eBay for, I think, 10 bucks. Which is the most I've paid for a tape, even though this isn't my rarest. It's the most common Alliance Atlantis tape. Um, so the back, we'll, we'll do a comparison. It does look significantly different. For example, that's there. The FHE logo is really tiny. Unlike this. Then the Alliance Atlantis shit, uh, blah, 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 blah. Fizzle and Atlantis. Quote's the same. This one, like I said, is a bit brighter than the other one, but not by much. And this font appears to be a bit smaller, but I can't tell. Then the tape, which let's uh, get out. Which, thankfully, it isn't stuck. Uh, this is actually on Mercari, without the case. It's in a lot, but someone separated it, which is good. Uh, so you can get it with Bluebird, too. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there it is. Print date is, um, very odd. Sorry for, for the shaking camera. 2.10 is the print date, which, uh, yeah, no. 
210 is definitely not the print date. Maybe 210 2000. I don't fucking know. Okay, so next we have, uh, we've already got LN done. LN02. It's from Goodwill and it's, uh, it's LN02. It's super boring. No, no blue top. That's kind of cool. Uh, print date is 12902. Uh, back. It's back. In case you're wondering. Oh, it comes from Bookman's. Okay. And last one for LN is LN03 but 04. Uh, black reels. Uh, print date is 20304, so early 04, like uh, so a good amount of my 03s. Uh, the back. And uh, the inside, which is uh, mostly the same, but obviously different with 03. And then the front, obviously. Side code 25968. Which you can easily spot in 04 because it has a different code. But it'll have a blue triangle if it has a different code, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Whoops. Like my NA04 has a very different code than a uh, regular. So let's put them back. You, you know, usually Alliance Atlantis looks way different from uh, the 2000 version, but they don't look too different this time. I mean, if you look at the side, they're obviously different, but from the front, you can't tell at the font's thinner, because they look basically the same. Alright, so, uh, I'll stop recording for now, but, um, I will continue. Just to make sure the camera doesn't poop on me, because it likes to do that every ten minutes or so. So, what does that look like to you? Yeah, me neither. I don't know what that is. That's actually a chandelier. <sighs> okay, Mozart time. All right, so this looks looks like um, second edition because it's got the uh, that obviously ITIC 02. Then the back obviously doesn't mention Bach at all. It's got the quote from no one. Blah blah blah. Your child's brain. Beethoven 1998 VHS stereo. And then it has Mozart.com. This plays ITIC, so I'm like pretty sure it's first edition, but I'll need someone to back me up. Baby Mozart.com, 1998, Julie Agner Clark. Baby Mozart is a trademark of Julie Agner Clark. Obviously, no print date, because if you know like one thing about VHS, you'll know that old ones don't have print dates. And oh dear, the dog's coming. Uh, next we have. Uh, Mozart 02, which we jumped four years. I know, I don't have 2000. I have like no 2000 or even 02 tapes. Um, here's Mozart 02. We got blue top, print date, 11-22-02. And then side, uh, and then the back. Obviously, different quote. That's Mozart 02. There's not much to, about it. So, this besides for uh, one of these box, which you won't know which, this was the most recent tape I got. It's from Marketplace. And I do just realize I haven't been saying where I got these tapes. This one was in a lot on eBay with some other good stuff, like Mozart uh, ITIC. This... LN2000, I think, was in some random lot, if I'm correct. I don't remember which. Alliance Atlantis was on its own. LN02 was Goodwill, and LN03 was in a big lot of 03s. And then Mozart RTIC, same lot as uh, LN98. Mozart 02, a uh, cheap lot of dumbass shit. Which was just, it was a garbage lot, but it was dirt. So I was like, at the time, I knew nothing about the VHS, so I was like, yeah, let's get it. It was 3 for 5 dollars so yeah. Alright, Mozart 03 with CD from Facebook Marketplace, 5 bucks. Actually, four bucks. Um, CD is, I think, 02. We'll be showing the CDs. Here it is. The CD is 02, and because of that, the tape's 02 as well. 
Print date is 11.06.02, not too far off from the other, was it 02? Um, and, hold on, I'm just gonna reconfigure the CD to make sure it, uh, what stands up correctly. There we go. And I already said where I got this, so it's most likely with CD. That's about it. If you would really like to see what an inside of the CD tape looks like, I, I will do that once I can... Never mind. Because you have to have room for the CD. It does not have the videos, but overall it is the same. Alright, I just gotta put this back because it's being stupid. Okay, well I put that. Mozart early 04, um, it is actually 03. I don't actually have a Mozart printed in 03, oh just kidding, I do. It's up next. So this is Mozart 03, same thing, blah blah blah. I should have Mozart 04, except that the Facebook Marketplace transaction never went through. So rip, it was a complicated story, but I don't feel like telling it. Just kidding, I do. I'll tell it after I go ne over the next Mozart. Print date, 12104. With black reels, and let me configure, reconfigure the camera. Yep. And then we've got a duplicate Mozart 03 I got in a lot. Print date, 110103. Oh, it says it's with CD. I did not notice that. Whoops. Okay. So I have two Mozarts with CD. Except one doesn't have the case, or the CD, or the anything. Alright, so let, let's tell a fun story about... Uh, the Mozart 04 Marketplace incident. It was on Marketplace, and it was in Michigan for $2. The seller could ship, but they are, like, old. Their name's Joe, with a Lorax profile picture. Um, so they couldn't, uh, like, accept PayPal or any of that stuff. They wanted us to send a check, and we never got around to it, because my parents were a bit skeptical, which, mm, I kind of don't blame at the same time. Joe is not going to scam you. He does not seem like a scammy person. Uh, I sh at the time I didn't know that Marketplace Pay existed, and I probably would have just done that. He would have accepted it, and I would have made a look at Mozart 04, but nope, I don't have it, and it got delisted. I don't remember the guy's name, but I could probably go back from mom's messages and find the guy's name, see if he still has it, but chances are he doesn't, so rip. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get Doc done, but first we'll put away the Mozarts. Oops, hold on, I gotta put this Mozart back. Wrong tape. Here we go. Except that's not in order at all. We must fix it, because I am anal. Sex. So total, we got six LN so far, five Mozarts, Four box, four Shakespeare's, four Van Gogh's, and so on. Let's do the four box. Baby Bach, 2000. Just kidding, it's not 2000. Bach, Right Star is my most wanted tape, and I got so, so close with this. It came the same lot as LL98 and Mozart ITIC. It looks to be really any, everything about uh, Right Star. Nothing that pops out to me is not. However, the tape, unfortunately. It does have a. Uh, it does have the squares on it. I'm gonna get right in there and show you those squares if I can. However, it says 1999, the Baby Einstein Company. So I don't know. I'll have to. T I'm gonna test this tonight and report back to you, cause I haven't tested this yet. Yeah, cause I'm lazy. Um, I already said where I got this. The lot wasn't cheap, but it wasn't expensive either, and it was like a really good lot. So I'm glad I got it. Get mm. for some reason also had Van Gogh Shakes in Shakespeare 2000. Van Gogh is not mid, and uh, Na and Royal Animals 01 with CD, like very random. All right, um, here it is. Uh, Nate had sent me this. I know he's dumb, but uh, he can find stuff, and that's the only reason he's not blocked. So I'll see. Ask weird questions. And, uh, at first I was like, oh boy, Bach with CD. I already have Bach 02 with CD. But then you look inside, and it's an extremely rare tape. 
Look at this. Blue sticker label, copyright 1999, pretty sure it's late 01. It looks just like a box 2000 with CD, but really it's late 01. It's got the inside, obviously, and free the box CD enclosed. In fact, I don't have the CD for this one, so I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna really quickly uh, grab a CD really quick, because uh, I have a duplicate. Of the 04 samplers, I know. Surprised you have a duplicate of the 04 samplers, but I do because I got the 04 samplers and some other CDs in a random ass kid CD lot for four dollars, and it came with some dumb shit too. Fifteen CDs for four dollars, though, I can make some money. Here's how it looks. It looks very off, but I have nowhere else to put the CD, so yeah. It's the 04 sampler FHE, and I already showed it. All right. Uh, next is Baco 2 with CD. It's about the same thing, however, this one says bonus soundtrack CD instead of free baby box CD. See, bonus in free. Bonus, you have to pay for it. Free, it's free. But you don't actually have to pay for it. Uh, it's obvious, it's a Disney. Like, it, it's, it's, it's Disney. Print date. No, no blue top, I, but I think that's normal for CD ones. Uh, six... 1802. And that is that. If you would, I will show you the soundtrack because I can. Hold on. It won't get back in because it's being a naughty bo little boy. Get. <clears throat> okay, I. I. You. <sighs> okay. I'll have to turn the camera off. Also, it's gonna, about to die, so I'm gonna. Probably have to stop recording for a sec. Oh, the reason I won't go in is because I'm putting it in the wrong way. Anyways, here's the CD. It, 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 it's it's O2. I ripped it and put it on Web Archive. Just search up Boy Jagger or, um, or Baby Bach CD or something like that, I think. And then a Bach O2. Came in a random lot. Alright, sorry, the camera was being weird and I thought it stopped, but I don't know. Uh, then we got Bach O2. Shockingly, it came in a lot. Oh yeah, Baco 2, I got Baco 2 in a lot on the offer up, and I got this one on here for like 6 bucks. It's Baco 2. It's printed in 912.02. Very boring. It's Baco 2. Yay. Also, I have more Wordsworth than I have Beethoven's, and I have the same amount of on the goes as I have Beethoven's. I have absolutely no Beethoven totes except for one without the case. I know, great collection. However... I think all the rest makes up for me. So those were the box. They were. Maybe. They might have been. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Um. Oh my god, they're being weird. Don't you love when your VHS tapes are being weird? I do. Okay, let's put the box back. The back's box. What the hell are you doing here? I'm gonna chuck you over there. Um, okay. Shakespeare's! My first VHS was Shakespeare 99 undercover! And I was like, hey, hey, Sam, hey, Sam. Uh, when I used to him. Uh, is, is this rare? I, I found this like a wheel. Because, you, yeah. This was in November 2018, and I had no idea what VHS's were at all. Uh, it looks like 99! 99! 99! 99! And the tape looks like 99! Except copyright 2000, which is weird. It plays 2000! Like, why? Why do you have to do that to me? I remember I was like, I wanted my, to test the VHS and my parents were watching stuff, they let me test it, and I was like, it started with the FHE logo. So, what the fuck? And, I already have Chick 2000. I got it after, though. So, the, uh, a serious misfortune, um, with Shakespeare Undercover 99. However, it's almost rarer than um, 99. Just not as well known because only like three people have this version where it's Undercover 99. We're like Undercover 2000, but whatever. There's a bunch of people who have 99s, and then there's only like three people who have this. Oh yeah, and there, in the last couple months, there have just been random 99s popping up on eBay and disappearing randomly with no one knowing who got them. 
Like there was one in December, one in January, one in February. I wonder if there's gonna be another one in March and I can actually get it. Or someone else. That too. Shakespeare 2000, it came in the same lot as uh, the 98 VHS's Ellen we got. I almost said Van Gogh. Yes, Van Gogh 98. Here's Shakespeare 2000. It was printed that date. 102300. F H E, blah, 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 blah. Um, obviously, I got that one from Goodwill, but I got this one a lot, like I said. Not too much interesting about it. It's 2000. What a shocker. Okay, next we have Shakespeare 03, which is one of my first VHSs, but I got it from eBay. It's not rare at all. It's very common. I mean, it's not the most common 03. I used to see it a lot, but now I don't see it as often. It's 03. Print date is 90503, I think. 90903, okay. Okay, a, a recent tape, Shakespeare Blue. I think I reviewed this in January Toy Review. Um, it's 03, but blue. And it's printed. Printed then. There's a bunch of tapes on Marketplace I should have gotten, or eBay for that matter. I tried to separate a lot, but they didn't. Have it was not the most amazing lot. It was just okay. Best thing in it was Neptune Blue, which, yeah, that'd be nice. Blue tapes are pretty cool. And those were my Shakespeare's. Alright, now th this position is hurting my back like fuck. So I'm just gonna do some nice stretches with the camera. And my body. I hope you enjoy this, and I hope it's not making a bunch of annoying noises. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, Van Gogh's time. Van Gogh 2000 in the same lot as all the other stuff that I've mentioned. The one lot with the Shakespeare and the 98s. It's not mid. There was a mid on recently. It's 102500. Uh, open the inside and yeah. I haven't actually read into those because they're probably somewhat interesting, especially the NA one. I will actually read into the NA one because it's garbage. There's so many errors in the NA one. And we're getting to it soon, but not yet. Next is Van Gogh, uh, 01 with CD, which I got for like four bucks. From a, from a same seller as uh, Neptune. I know, what a very interesting tape at the time. This was uh, a long time ago, though, so. And keep in mind, this soundtrack. Uh, didn't come with it. It came separately, and it's, um, 02, while this is, uh, 01, the tape. So, whatever. It would probably come with an Art Time Classics, or, yeah, or a soundtrack, I mean. Uh, it's in kind of terrible quality. I mean, just look at this. It's just, oh, God. And what the, what the hell is this rectangle? Anyways, the back. And, now this... I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know if it would be mid. I remember testing it a while back, but I don't actually know how to figure out if it's mid. I could show it to one of you, and you could see. I don't know. Oh. I've been trying to watch a VHS every day, so eventually I'll get to this. But obviously CDs don't have print dates. So we will never... Well, we will find out if it has... If it is... If it has is mid. And also, let's get it back in. There we go. Okay, Van Gogh 0304. It's 0304. Oh, wait, I forgot. This came with Mozart inside it, and Mozart came with Van Gogh inside it. This one's actually not 04, it's actually 03. I know, wow. Surprisingly enough, it's Van Gogh 03. Everything that an 03 would do. Now, what well, probably the highlight of this whole collection, except for about five other tapes, Van Gogh 04 with the CD, cane field with booklets, and has a weird sticker label. All right, now basically no one has this art sampler. I think Cohen and DJ do, and that's it. It's like really rare. 
There's a possible Van Gogh for an eBay, but unfortunately we can't tell because the seller can't take pictures. It's been sitting in a mediocre lot. Here's the sampler. It's really cool, but weird. And then, obviously, the scene list. Keep in mind, there's about half to 75% of the O3s with CDs you see on are probably O4 because what other threes do you see with CD on that are like, that can be like O2? Maybe Mozart? Uh, maybe like N.A., World Animals, sometimes Newton. Most tapes, if you see the O3 with CD on, they're probably going to be O4 because you don't really see the regular O3 with CD. It's actually O3. But then again, you obviously don't see O4 very often either. Now I'm going to go into the detail. It looks like O3 if you ignore the sampler. 26523, same code. And then back, still visit us. Uh, it came with a booklet, which is cool because I have like none of these. I think it's an 05 booklet. And here's the tape. Wow. There's a Shakespeare 04 I've been trying to get on Marketplace, and the seller actually responded, except they're taking way too long to actually ship it. Like, it's been like a month, really. You are you sure you don't have time to ship it? It's been a month! Like, really, you don't have time? I just don't see. There's a few sellers like that. One of a Mozart... Mozart, I think, 01, even though it looks like 98. And a really cool ripoff, but it was at the same time really weird, called Moo Moo Mozart. Which is on Amazon for the cheap, cheap price of 20 bucks. Keep in mind, the thing's from Canada, not the Amazon one, but the... So, I probably wouldn't get it shipped anyways. Anyways, the video is almost about to end, but here's Santa. I have two Santa O2 soundtracks. Yeah. This is Santa O2. I got it from Marketplace. I got this one in a lot of O3s. This one's separate. Or, this one in a lot. Uh, here, Santa O2. We got... it's. This isn't common at all. And I have, like, no Santa tapes, as you can see. Yeah, sorry, I can't go into depth on that one, but you don't really need to. Santa 03, which um, is really 120403 with black reels. This is definitely the rarest 03. You don't really see it. You almost see 04 more often, than it, which is really weird, because there's this one seller that lists on every fucking website ever. But it's expensive, it's like 20 bucks. Jesus. So that was Santa. I'm going to stop recording for a sec because my camera's going to die on me if I don't. One sec. Let's continue. Before we do, I gotta mention that I, in that same lot of random ass B CDs and other stuff that I got, uh, there was an LN CD too. I think it was 02, I feel like. I don't know where it is though, and I don't even have an LN with CD, so whatever. Anyways, NA! I, um, have an interesting NA collection. We got Bluebird with CD. The CD is, uh, here. There it is. Oh, it's 02. Even though, I think, hold on. Okay, what's actually, okay, this CD, this CD is supposed to go in here, but whatever. I'll do that later. So, uh, th this is just the worst. We got, uh, no misspells there, but it's not an E major. Duh. Yes, definitely. There's probably more mistakes, but I'm not bothered to find them. I have, so I have Bluebird, but I don't have regular. No, not Elephant, obviously. Um, and the tape is rare. It's sticker label. Yeah. That was that. Next up, once I put this back, hold, <clears throat> get it, it, okay. Uh, it looks like I just destroyed the fucking tape, but I didn't. And a 03 with CD, but it's actually 02. I don't have any 02, so that's fine. I have any 03. 22602. Very early 02, which is weird. But it happens. And then the inside. Oh dear, that's bright. Why the hell is it so bright? I'm gonna turn the brightness down. 
Oh no, not up. Okay, this is better. Yeah, that's better. There we go. That's much more comfortable. That was NA. Uh, get, get fucking in here. All right. Sliding. Okay. Then we got NAO3. Ish. It's black reels and print date is that not that. Print date is 30504. I have three NAO4s, but two are early. Which obviously means that this one's early too. Yep, it is. In fact, I think they're both printed on the same day. Okay, well our NAO4 is actually interesting. We got blue triangle. Different code. See, look. I'll show you the different code. Yeah. Um, and we got no visit us at justfabianson.com. And also, forgot that the pictures are different, which is weird. Very odd. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. Then the tape. Uh, I think Co has one with CD that's printed on the same day. Uh, 110804. I was not born. In fact, I was not born for any uh, VHSs at all. Even though I did have one. It was an Elmo cooking show. Or something like that. So that's NA. We will put them back now. <coughs> They're top. NA's tops on like all the VHSs like to come off. They, they just want to. They like it. All right, now World Animals, which still has its fair share, but doesn't have as much. We got World Animals 01 with CD, which I remember when Leo, you know, Leo, the um, liner, oops, who has like every single VHS ever, and I'd have to ask him which ones he doesn't have. Um, he, I remember he had this, but without the CD. It was like his only VHS he didn't have, besides for like 04s. Um, FHE, and then the back, still ASPCA, and then over here, you could see the CD from the outside, so I don't really need to show where there it is. And keep in mind, this one is 01, an 01 CD. The tape is actually really weird. Look at it. It's, it's in great condition. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Whatever. It's got a blue sticker label, and it's in the worst condition ever. All right. Now, uh, Wild Animals, late mid-02 slash late-02. It's just 03. Yeah. And then Wild Animals, oh, I think 03 with CD. They don't think it's late-02. The CD is kind of weird. And then, stuff over here. Great soundtracks. These make perfect sense. Alright, and uh, Loose World Animals. 04. Or 03, I mean. 8, 19, 03. Okay, so this one I got in the lot with 98s. To be honest, I don't remember where I got this one. This one I got in a lot on offer up. This, um, this one I don't remember where I got either. This one, um, lot of 98s. So this one, lot on offer up. I don't remember the NAO3s because they're the same thing. And NAO4 I got separate for like six bucks. All right, Newton. Uh, great collection of Newton. We got 02. There's the print date. It's O2. It's O2. Um, what the hell? What the fuck? What? What? Okay, that was weird. It just wouldn't open. Do you know your shapes? Cran Pogo. It's from Goodwill. Yay. Then, uh, this I got loose in a lot, I'm pretty sure. 82303 with black reels. Alright, this I got in a lot of two with Nova CD. It's pretty cool since it didn't have the case. Bach is the only 03 I'm missing. 
And Beethoven, I don't have the case, and it's blue. 20204, pretty cool. Um, hold on. Alright, I uh, can't get that back in, but Beethoven. I, I have one Beethoven tape, and it's blue. George has a duplicate, and he might send it to me eventually, but I don't know when that'll be. I know, what a great Beethoven collection. Print date is 9-15-03. I'm going to stop recording for a second. Alright, next up is Galileo with CD. It didn't come with a CD, but I um, had a duplicate of the right sampler, so that's pretty cool. Let's put it back in there. Get back in there, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's a little CD. Uh, then here, it's Galileo. Shocking, I know. Then here it is, print date 92203. And let's put it back. I am getting tired, but I will film the rest of this. It is a lot to sit on the ground and review 62 tapes. Even though I've only done 38 so far. I counted. Alright, I have two Galileos. One. Ten. Ten. Oh. Two. If it would come out. 12-22-03. I'm going a bit fast because my camera's about to fucking die. Let's put them back. Okay, my Neptune collection is certainly something. I thought this was nothing. Uh, oh yeah, I got that on eBay. That and a lot, and I don't know where that I got that. Then Neptune. This is actually with CD. Looks kind of weird. Uh, printed... 51303, so, yep. Uh, no case, you remember I got it. Then we've got Neptune 30804. Uh, here it is. And then both of these Neptunes are 21303. I'm not even gonna show the other, just kidding, I will. Baby Neptune, 21303, which is really early. Wasn't it released in like March? Yeah, and this is also. 21303. It's hard to see. Okay, those are the Neptunes. The Numbers Nurseries. We got this one. Uh, printed 112003. I don't, uh, I don't remember I got that. This Neptune, I think I got it by itself. I think these two I got in lots, and this one I got in a lot. I don't, I'm starting to not remember where I got them. Whoops. Then this number is Nursery 21804, not Black Reels. I don't know if it has that 1 through 10. Yes, you can. This, is this part's really weird, but it's normal. Right. Yeah, that's Numbers Nursery. Alright, now McDonald. First of all, um... Here's this one, uh, 30104, and then here's the other McDonald, which is just empty over here. Uh, and then this one, oops, then this one is 22504, and this one is 22004, so they're close. They are probably just picked up. If they aren't, I don't know, but I haven't tested them. Hold on, I gotta put this one back. God, get, get back inside. Okay, there we go. Then we got Da Vinci. This one's really weird. Look at this. This is weird. It's like layered on top of the other. And Year Da Vinci is probably 71904. These other two are. But this one's 70604, and it's a bit weird. But only a bit. It's probably still normal. Here it is. And then this is Vinci. 71904. Then this is Vinci. 71904. Not interesting at all. 
Okay, so I actually have three Noah tapes and not really a clue what to do with them. However, I'm keeping two. This, all right, we've got the Snowa, which, yeah, there's Mozart so far. Uh, 35800. I got, I don't remember where I got the Da Vinci's, probably in lots. I don't remember where I'm getting, I don't, didn't get them, uh, separate. I didn't get any McDonald's separate, they were just in lots. All right, this first baby Noah, 10905. The second baby Noah, um, 10805. I know one day apart, which is really weird. And the Noah with CD, which came with Newton 03, actually with the case. Yeah, I have no place for this at all. So I'm just gonna, yeah, fuck it. And then the nat nature sampler, which is right there. It came with, it, this was sealed, and it smelled bad. As you can see, there's a bit of marks for it to unseal. It also came with some booklets. I won't review them. But this one's weird. And, uh, <laughs> oh dear. I know you can't see it, but yikes. Then the actual tape is actually in 04. Uh, 12.02.04. Yeah, let's get a better angle of that kangaroo. There he is. Oh my. He's hot. Maybe. Hold on. I gotta stop recording. Alright, only a few more tapes to go and we got Monet. Uh, I got Monet separate for about six bucks. It was the last tape I got. 12605, pretty common print date. Nothing too special. I mean, it's Monet. It, be, it being Monet is the most special thing it is. All right, here's the Wordsworth story. One is for me, one is for Sam, one is for George, because they got them ordered for me. And I will ship them to them eventually when they actually care enough to get me to. This one is white reels, which I have two black reels and one white reels. Uh, this one's 62405. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, 62405. Uh, the next one, uh, black reels and 822.05. I'll go ahead and show the tape. Yep. And then the back. It's not in great condition. And then the other one, which is black reels and 822.05. Both of them on 822.05, except for one. Now let's put. Fuck. Oh my. <clears throat> Get, <clears throat> fucking hell. I wish I could pause this camera. Alright. There we are. Then on the go, I got in a lot of an offer up. I, I got. I think the Wordsworth I got was a stock image listing, and then they got their, their others separately. One ha George had to separate his, but Sam got it separately. On the go! Print date, 10-19-05, obviously the last tape, very rare. Uh, I got this on in a lot of off her up, I don't know if I said that. No inside, so I can't show that. I will show the top. Very cool. Alright, now the sampler, which, it, it was on a few times when I got it. One time I almost got it, but I think DJ did, it was sealed, which would have been cool. Uh, but I ended up getting it again for like $8. Not sealed, but still. This is really weird. I haven't tested it yet, but I think Jameson uploaded it. Baby Einstein, no code. $2 off coupon, which I don't have. Then babyeinstein.com. The back is weird. It's apparently got some from Mozart, Neighbor, Animals, and Van Gogh. It's got its award. Video sample for your newborn. And welcome home! What the hell? Then the top. Alright, now we go on to the non be VHS, and hopefully my camera doesn't die on me. If it does, then that sucks. Oh, move the tripod. I don't have many, I have six. And two of them don't even work. We got this one, which doesn't work. It looks, um, beautiful. Uh, um, I'm not gonna actually gonna show it, I think this was made in 1997. They got a few of these. Here's the tape. 
I don't think it works, but it might just be my player. I don't know. I'm probably getting another player soon, so that's cool. This ripoff I got for three fifty. I think think it's just so like so smart, but it was three fifty, and I couldn't pass it up because it's weird. However, it it's in kind of shitty condition and doesn't work. I think it's from nineteen ninety seven. And the butt back is uh, weird. These people need it. So yeah, maybe I can get that one to work, but if I can't, oh well. It's probably not that good. And it's probably got not actually have anything interesting in it. You know what I mean? Hold on, gotta get it back in. Alright, then Maisie, which I used to watch when I was a kid. I wasn't passing it up for uh, 49 cents. Keep in mind, I got most of these from Goodwill. Except for this one and this one, which I got from eBay for cheap. It's Maisie's Ace Alphabet. It's uh, weird. Maybe me make material? I don't know. I think it's in 2000, from 2001. It's got Varagas and Campbell. Two families owned it, apparently. Maybe they rented it from a library. Don't know. Uh, then this, which has weird, very creepy, in a sense of like, God loves you and shit like that. But it's got the tiny love stacking rings in it, and that's about it. The tape is yellow, like really? It's from, oh, it's uh, from 2002. Hey, there we go, 28 minutes, 2002. Very low budget and extremely hard to find, so I'm glad I got it. Oh yes, Seymour. Um, I've destroyed a couple tapes. One was some movie I needed for school and one was the Christmas tree, which I regret destroying, but it was for a stupid me make. Uh, you can go watch whenever you want to see more. It's, uh, um, terrible, but not actually relevant anymore, unfortunately. I, back when I did a collection in, like, May or something, I said this was my god, but no, Brandon is our god. If you don't like him, well, sorry. I know there's some controversy going on with that. And yeah, you're probably an idiot if you don't like Brandon. Not because you don't like Brandon, but just because you're an idiot. Sorry. Anyways, I took a picture of a weird ripoff, not on VHS, at a Goodwill, and people pointed out to me that this was rare from 2005, so I got it. I don't actually like SpongeBob. I might start watching it. I don't fucking know. Basically, everyone I talk to does. It's got some episodes from 2005, and the print date, which it actually has, is 8-27-05. So yeah, the, those are all my tapes. I think I've got 68 in total. Uh, that is not B or 62 with, with duplicates. And I'll probably sell some of the duplicates because I have no use for them. But this is crazy. Wow. Goodbye, everyone. And I don't know what I'm doing next. Just kidding. I do.